Can you guys believe it's already October? Video pals. Nermond internet survey thing. Tell us about your first kiss. I didn't really have first kisses until high school. The first, like, not even like make out kiss, but like, wah kiss was in ninth grade and it was this kid Scott. I just remember we were in the hallways and he just like kissed me on the mouth in between classes and then we both went off to our classes. Most expensive casual item of clothing ever bought. I don't really buy expensive things. I've lived for the past multiple years of my life on student loan budgets so I'm really trying to think of something that I spent a lot of money on. Probably all the sweatshirts that I bought for college. I really love sweatshirts and college sweatshirts are like 40 or 50 bucks each and I have like five of them. So probably my college sweatshirt collection. What was the first job you ever wanted as a kid? I think I went through the pretty typical phases as a kid. I wanted to be an artist for a really long time. I could draw a cat really, really well after I went through this one drawing book. Ever since then, my artistic ability has kind of been limited to stick figures. And then I wanted to be a veterinarian. When I was 12-ish, I decided I want to be a doctor. And now I'm in med school, so hopefully that one works. Tell us about your group of school friends. I went to a lot of different schools, especially growing up, so I changed school friend groups pretty frequently. Um, but we kind of settled down in high school. There was a group of three of us um, who were really nerdy, and we all had chemistry class together. And so we referred to each other as the elements that corresponded with our initials. Um, so, like, I was sulfur because my first initial is S. Like, there was a guy in class that one of the other girls had a really big crush on, and so we referred to him as fluorine because fluorine has the highest electronegativity and attracts everything to it. Um, and so we just, like, named everyone based off of elemental properties. Yup. Nerdfighter. <laughs> what would you name your kid? When I was younger, I used to think a lot about what I would name my kids to the point that I actually like had girls named picked out and I wanted to, you know, and I knew I couldn't control it, but my ideal situation is I would have an older boy and then like three years after that I would have a little girl and then about a year after that I would have another little girl so that the two little girls could be friends and they would always have each other and they would always have like this tough older brother to watch out for them. I never picked out a name for the guy, but um, when I was younger I had, I think I wanted to name them like Heather and Summer, um, but I was also like 14. So as I grow up I realize, you know, that's definitely not how things work and um, it is definitely a mutual decision that, that needs to be made with whoever I end up having kids with. Um, so we'll see, I do hope to have kids and um, ideally, probably three, uh, but all depends on said significant other. Who do you want to answer the survey next? All of you! I had planned on giving my Doctor Who finale reaction in this video, but once I started editing, it just, there wasn't enough time, so maybe next week we can have our Doctor Who themed week where we talk about that. I hope you all had a lovely weekend. I have six exams on Friday, so I'm gonna get back to studying. Craig, I'll see you tomorrow.